and down. Hey, can we talk? I'm really worried about Michael. I heard about Abby's. Can we go somewhere and talk? Yeah. What? Sean, what did you do to your dog? He's adorable. Well, he's a service dog. Oh, will be when he completes training. Oh, like a guide dog? Uh, sort of. He'll be part of a therapy program for people like me with PTSD. Are you having a tough time because you gave me your rock? Nah, well, your sister was kind enough to return it to me. I had a few other issues I needed to work out. Talk about Dr. Keenan over here. Well, I'm talking. He's a big believer in dog therapy. Oh, cool. Is um, Dr. Keenan a specialist in PTSD? Oh, yeah, amongst other things. I'm talking Wasn't it Kali who got Wilson in the shelter? Well, Dr. Keenan, Molly Lansing, uh, one of my very first friends in town. Nice to meet you, Molly. You know, maybe Molly can hang out with Wilson while we talk. Okay. Hey, you guys have fun together and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Come on, baby. You said you were worried about Michael. What's going on? He knows about Jax. He knows about Jax and he outed me publicly in the middle of my New Year's Eve party at the Metro Court. Yeah, what'd you do? Well, I, I tried to explain while everyone else jumped on the bandwagon as painting me the Wicked Witch of poor Charles. Well, you kept quiet for good reason. I know, I was trying to protect Jax from Sonny. But now that Sonny knows the truth, I'm afraid this whole mess is gonna start all over again. Listen, someone has to get Sonny under control, and it can't be me. I'm guessing a lot of other people are trying. People he might actually be inclined to listen to. That's why I came to you. I knew you'd understand. Well, look, I'm glad you came to me. But I feel bad you came under attack. Especially since I talked to you into keeping the secret. No, Jax clearly wants to stay under the radar, or he would have been in touch with Jocelyn and Morgan. And did you explain that to Michael? I tried, I tried, but it's like talking to a brick wall. He's so hurt about losing Abby that it's, it's like he has nothing to lose. Michael, you know, he's just upset and angry about Abby and just taking his anger out on you. He thinks what I did was unforgivable. You know, what if he never gets past this? You know, he just needs time to understand. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? I know, how, how, how do I help him get through this? Well, by calmly and rationally explaining why you didn't tell calmly him. Calmly and while. rationally? I don't do calmly and rationally. Okay, you got a better idea? Pray and hope for a miracle. Look, you love your son. You'll find the words. You're right. You know, I guess. What do I have to lose, huh? Thank you. Thanks. I'm just sorry I wasn't there on New Year's Eve. Well, we better go, huh, Jocelyn? It's time for lunch. Huh? Thank you. See you later. Say bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. No. Bye. Come on, sweetie. Bye.